Welcome back to Brainwaves. In today's episode, we dive into the fascinating history of dog shows. From their origins in the 19th century to their evolution and popularity today, dog shows have become a beloved event for both dog enthusiasts and the general public. Join us on this journey as we explore the rich history behind these prestigious shows. In the 19th century, the concept of purebred dogs began to gain prominence. Breeders started to selectively breed dogs for specific traits, creating distinct and standardized breeds. This was a crucial development that laid the foundation for dog shows as it introduced the idea of categorizing dogs based on their breed characteristics. The breeding of purebred dogs allowed for the refinement of specific traits and the preservation of distinct breed characteristics, ultimately setting the stage for the emergence of dog shows as we know them today. During the 19th century, dog shows started to gain popularity in England. One of the earliest recorded dog shows took place in Newcastle in 1859, organized by local sportsman and dog enthusiast Charles Cruft. These early shows provided a platform for breeders to showcase their prized dogs and compete for recognition. Dog shows in England quickly grew in popularity and became grand events that attracted participants and spectators from all walks of life further fueling the enthusiasm for purebred dogs and the competitive spirit among breeders. The formation of the Kennel Club in 1873 marked a significant milestone in the history of dog shows. Recognizing the need for a centralized governing body, Sewellis Shirley, a dog breeder and sportsman, took the initiative to establish the Kennel Club in England. The club aimed to regulate dog shows, set breed standards, and promote responsible breeding practices. With the formation of the Kennel Club, dog shows gained even more legitimacy and became a crucial part of the dog breeding community, ensuring the preservation and promotion of pedigree dogs. The first modern dog show took place in Newcastle, England in 1859, organized by Charles Cruft, a respected sportsman and dog enthusiast. This show demonstrated a new approach to showcasing and judging dogs, focusing not only on their physical appearance but also on breed-specific characteristics and overall conformation. With its well-organized structure and prestigious nature, the first modern dog show laid the foundation for the future development and standardization of dog shows worldwide. The formation of the Kennel Club in 1873 marked a significant development in the history of dog shows. The Kennel Club, established by Sewellis Shirley, aimed to bring structure and standardization to dog shows. They introduced breed standards, rules, and regulations for dog shows, ensuring fairness and uniformity in judging. The Kennel Club's influence extended beyond England, as their practices and standards began to be adopted by dog clubs and organizations worldwide, fundamentally shaping the dog show landscape. With the establishment of the Kennel Club and the growing popularity of dog shows, these events quickly became a cultural phenomenon. The public's fascination with dog shows surged as dog breeders and enthusiasts showcased their prized animals to a wider audience. Newspapers began covering dog show results, and the general public started attending these events in large numbers. Watching dog shows became a popular pastime, allowing people to appreciate the beauty and skill of various breeds. The popularity of dog shows continues to this day, with competitions drawing widespread attention and serving as a celebration of canine excellence. Selective breeding played a pivotal role in the growth and development of dog breeds. Breeders began deliberately mating dogs with desired traits to produce offspring with consistent characteristics. This process led to the creation of new breeds and refinement of existing ones. Different breeds were established based on factors such as size, coat type, temperament, and working ability. Over time, breeders focused on maintaining and improving specific traits, resulting in the vast diversity of dog breeds we see today. To ensure consistency and uniformity within each breed, breed standards were developed. Breed standards define the ideal characteristics, appearance, and temperament of each breed. These standards provide a blueprint for breeders and judges to evaluate the conformation of dogs in relation to their breed. The creation of breed standards allowed for objective assessment and comparison of dogs, ensuring that breeding decisions were based on maintaining the distinctive traits of each breed. Dog shows played a crucial role in the standardization of dog breeds. These shows provided a platform for breeders to showcase their dogs and receive evaluations from knowledgeable judges. 
Judges use breed standards as a guideline to assess the conformation, movement, and overall adherence to breed characteristics. The feedback received at dog shows helped breeders make informed decisions in their breeding programs, aiming to produce dogs that closely matched the breed standards. Through this iterative process, dog shows played a pivotal role in maintaining the integrity and standardization of dog breeds. The American Kennel Club AKC, has played a significant role in the history of dog shows in the United States. Founded in 1884, the AKC became the primary authority in recognizing and registering purebred dogs. The club introduced its own set of breed standards, rules, and regulations for dog shows, and it continues to be a well-respected organization dedicated to promoting responsible dog ownership and preserving breed integrity. With its extensive influence and resources, the AKC has been instrumental in advancing the standards and popularity of dog shows in America. The Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, established in 1877, is one of the oldest and most prestigious dog shows in the world. A group of hunting enthusiasts formed the Westminster Kennel Club in New York City, with the goal of organizing a dog show to showcase the finest purebred dogs. The first show, held at Gilmore's Garden, later Madison Square Garden, was a great success, attracting thousands of spectators and featuring over 1,200 dogs representing various breeds. Since then, the Westminster Dog Show has become an annual tradition, captivating dog enthusiasts and the general public alike. The Westminster Dog Show holds a special place in the world of dog shows due to its prestige and significance. It is considered one of the most prestigious dog shows globally, attracting top breeders and exhibitors from around the world. The event showcases the highest quality purebred dogs, as judged by experienced and knowledgeable professionals. For dog owners and breeders, winning at Westminster is a symbol of excellence and a tremendous honor. The popularity of the Westminster Dog Show extends beyond the dog community as millions of viewers tune in each year to witness the grace, beauty, and competitive spirit of these remarkable dogs. Modern dog shows have evolved to include various formats and classes to accommodate different breeds and types of dogs. Confirmation shows remain a prominent format, where judges assess dogs based on how closely they adhere to their breed standards. Additionally, there are performance-based shows such as agility, obedience, and rally competitions that showcase the dog's skills and training. These formats allow for a broader representation of dogs and provide opportunities for owners who may not have show-ready breeds to participate and compete. The modern dog show formats have contributed to the continued popularity and inclusivity of dog shows today. International dog show organizations have played a crucial role in the growth and globalization of dog shows. One prominent organization is the Fédération Synologique Internationale FCI, which is the largest international canine organization recognized by various national kennel clubs. FCI organizes international dog shows, sets breed standards, and promotes the welfare of dogs worldwide. Another well-known organization is the United Kennel Club UKC, in the United States, which focuses on promoting a wider range of breeds and events, including performance-based competitions. These international organizations provide a platform for dog enthusiasts from different countries to come together, exchange ideas, and showcase the diversity of dog breeds from around the world. Dog shows have had a profound impact on the preservation of dog breeds. By enforcing breed standards and promoting responsible breeding practices, dog shows play a crucial role in maintaining the integrity and genetic health of specific breeds. Through careful selection and evaluation by knowledgeable judges, breeders are encouraged to prioritize health, temperament, and confirmation in their breeding programs. This focus on breed preservation helps to prevent the dilution of breed characteristics and promotes the continuation of distinct breeds with their unique traits and abilities. Additionally, by providing a platform for breeders and enthusiasts to network and share knowledge, dog shows contribute to the exchange of information and the improvement of breeding practices, leading to the long-term preservation of dog breeds. And that brings us to the end of our journey through the history of dog shows. From their humble beginnings in the 19th century to the grand events we see today, dog shows have played a significant role in celebrating the beauty, skill, and diversity of dog breeds. They have provided a platform for breeders, exhibitors, and dog lovers worldwide to come together and appreciate the remarkable qualities of these amazing animals. 
We hope you've enjoyed learning about the origins, growth, and evolution of dog shows as much as we have. Join us next time on Brainwaves as we delve into another fascinating topic.